Hello my friends, it, it is beautiful rainy morning, perfect time for YouTube video. I will explain what I have here, I'm really excited about this in the last few days. I hope you will also like this concept and this idea. So here I have four T display S3. One, two, three and four. Nothing special. But but what is interesting is that there is same code on all of these. Yes, same code, same sketch. So how is that possible? And that is my idea. I found a way to store this simple UI in EEPROM. And I also find a way to change these settings without using, without writing code, without using computer or something. So all three boards have same code with different settings in EEPROM. To change EEPROM I used, I used this rotary encoder from Soldered Company. I love their modules because they are easy to hook up to Lilico boards. Let's choose this one. This rotary encoder is uh, very interesting because uh, it already have built-in built-in microcontroller which is some kind of AT tiny and that microcontroller will measure rotations and states and it will communicate with our microcontroller which is S3 with I square C. I will put links in description so you can check this rotary encoder. It came without this. Now I will show you how this works. So you can notice one thing on uh, these three boards. You can notice that there is five strings. One string, two, three, four, five. So five strings. One, two, three, four, five. These strings are same and these are just fake data. Each board have seven rectangles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So remember those numbers. Also, Sprite is not full size. It is 255 by 170. Why 255? I will explain later. So let's change this value. So let's change this UI. To change, I need to press this button. And now here I have five rows for text and five and seven rows for for shapes of or rectangles with this I can choose address or byte I want to change for example this row represent this text you will see that text is blinking I don't know can you see this but if I change byte on this address which is address 1 right now value on this address is 171 I can press button and now I can change value on that address and I can move that string in left I will return it back Next, I will uh, I I will need to push this again because I need to change address. Now on this byte on this address it is. Oh, let's let's change this one. This is font size. Fonts can be from zero to nine, so I can also change font size, and I can change also 
for each text color. This byte representing value of red, value of green and value of blue. Let's change this color. Uh, now when I uh, turn my knob, increment is 1. So when I need to be faster I can choose for example increment 5 with this push button let's add a green and blue so now we have it's hard to see on camera but this is like really green color and to save our settings I need to press this button and now I have different design which is stored in EEPROM and when I power board again my settings are saved so let's try again so I will go to shape so this this line I forgot to mention, yes, for string you can modify these settings X, Y, font size, red, green and blue and for shapes, for sh shapes are all rectangles for example I can modify X, Y, width, height so let's uh, let's make put it here and let's change height and also let's change color and let's save now I have completely different setup. This is the default sketch. This sketch, when you first uh, first upload your board, display will look like this. Very boring. You can notice that address start uh, from from one because uh, byte zero in EEPROM is used to check is this first time you are uploading this uh, this sketch so that is needed because EEPROM in different boards can be very messy so we need to reset to default sketch which is that very boring but after some time it can it can look like this so let's try and let's try to change this one to enter set mode I need to press this button I can change address this string is blinking so I know that I that this is chosen string let's try to change save so this is button is to enter in this mode nothing is happening this button will enter set mode uh, chosen element is always blinking and increment is here so I can change with this button increment increments can be one three or five So tell me what you think about this. Please leave a comment. I'm very curious. I was really excited about this. This is not something something special, but it was fun to make. And it would be nice to may make competition or another context contest to see who will design better user interface from this from this basic so just with moving 
objects and changing colors, size, who will make something interesting and pleasing to eye. I'm glad you watched the whole video and if you are new here please consider subscribing and if you are already my subscriber thank you goodbye